Hey everybody, welcome back to Tour Validated. Chris McCormick joined with DJ Lance. And today we have a special guest with Kent Notes. He's the PGA Tour rep for Ping Golf. And kind of someplace cool today, but before we dive into this, make sure to give us a like, subscribe, and we'll jump into this special place that we're at. And this is the Ping Tour Truck. <laughs> Thanks for joining us today. Why don't, you, uh, why don't you talk to us a little bit about what we got going on here? Yeah, so uh, this is our uh, Ping Tour trailer. Um, it's primarily on the PGA Tour. I would say out of the 40 to 45 weeks a year, it does 40 of those are PGA Tour events. Um, we'll do college and LPGA Tour as well out of this. And this is basically Ping rolling a semi truck that rolls this trailer around and it can do anything it can do uh, over there. It can be done in here, which is pretty crazy to think about when you think how big Ping is and then we've condensed it into a 40 foot trailer. The trailer was designed with the idea of works, uh, our Ping works was our model. We wanted to make our players uh, who've been in works and with us since they were 10 and 12 coming in as juniors, sure feel the same way and feel the process was somewhat similar if they came in and worked on a tour event. So the whole idea was to make it flow just like Works does. So this is where we would do our putters and our irons. So any kind of steel shafted products gonna be done here. These drawers are like you said, the, you know, just kids so in a candy store stuff there. for golf. I mean, there's, I mean, that's Nippon and KBS. So familiar name there. There's your dynamic gold. There's some more dynamic gold. So that's the sh drawers and drawers of shafts. And then right next to that, of course, what do you got to have to put on a shaft? There's some wedge heads. There's some tools to, that's more Adam and Jack that handled that. That's not, that's not my territory there. Understood. And then wedges and then irons will be down here. So you just, you just have racks and racks. Of, actually, actually, those might be all wedges. This might be irons. Yeah, there you go. So that's all wedges. Mm -hmm. And then that's your 230s, your I-59s, your blueprints. And then obviously we still have guys that play older stuff, so I blades, some S55s. There's, sure. there's, we gotta. So if it's in play on the PGA Tour, our job is to try to keep an entire backup. Like we have to, we always look at it as if a guy lost their set of clubs, we have to be able to build it. So yep. if you have that secure, like Kevin Stroman plays a G fairway wood, so we have G fairway woods in there. G fairway woods yeah. still in stock. Yeah, Jaeger plays S55 irons, so we got S55 irons, and we got all the new stuff. So. It, it's uh, the inventory level that those guys have to go through is insane. So if you're here, you're building a putter or an iron. So you're grabbing your stuff. You're putting tape down for epoxy probably right here. Just yep. put the tape down, grab your tip and toe weights um, right here, put it together. Boom, goes right here. Curing. Curing. So the shafts are gonna dry here. Um, after they dry, you can pop them out and turn the ferrules down right there. So try so, and then it goes from there comes right back here to Loft and Y. This is the same Loft and Y machine throughout the entire company. Ping Japan, Ping Europe, works here. Any Ping Loft and Y machine is this software. They all update the software together when new stuff comes out. And uh, so when that happens, I mean, the variance on this thing is like a quarter of a degree, I think, as we update it. So it's, it's really, really good. So, and then after that, they would be done, except they'd have to get gripped. And this is our primary gripping station right here for all of our products. We have two of them. You might have seen the other one up there. We don't use that one as much. So things will end, things will end right there with yeah. irons. And then they go on this rack. And then woods take the exact opposite approach. They start down here and they end up right there as well. Woods, same program. This is actually a little more. I think the graphite, the graphite shaft drawers are a little more fun than the steel. Sure. Like, I mean, because you think about that, that's like, I don't know, 50 grand. I don't, I don't, yeah. <laughs> you don't even know what that is. These are the real deals. These oh yeah, the, these are. These aren't the ones. No, that. they are all the real deals. It's just, I mean, like you look on like, if you go on like eBay once, you're like, oh, this is, okay, that's $350. Yeah. Like, how's that? And you're just used to seeing them a full drawer full. You're like, oh, oh I'll, really? make, I'll make three of them in like a Tuesday. Yeah. <laughs> you're right. New graphite design CQ yeah. right in there already. Yeah. I think Ready that's to a go. softer. I think that's a softer part from them. Yeah, a little yeah, mid-launch spin. A little, little more launch and spin. And then your Mitsubishi stuff. I think this is, they just came out with that on tour, I think, mm -hmm. that 1K blue. Yep. yep. Um, so that stuff's always changed. So you're always trying to keep up with that. Yeah. And the, the reps do a great job of informing us with that. Yep. Um, so then this would be the heads. So this is our brand new 430 stuff loaded on that. Yep. You know, I'm curious, you have players on your staff like Tony Finau, Victor yeah. Hovland, very relaxed guys. 
does that transition into this truck? Do you see that personality flip a little where you're like, I, they're a little more high maintenance in here than you might see probably on the course? That's a great question. Both those guys, like, I mean, Tony Finau and Victor are both very relaxed. Yeah. Tony, so Jack, uh, who works with Adam in the trailer, he puts together a spreadsheet of all the clubs we build for every player. Yeah. And that's this variant. And I think a lot of it's personality. I don't think, I think the amount that players tinker is a lot based on how they operate, right? Right. Sure. We built Tony Finau five clubs on this trailer last year. Five clubs five. of the year. See, I would have, I would have bet the over on that, but based on his personality, I just was curious if that carried over yeah, the way he would perceive. He just yeah. seems like he's like, this thing works, I'm gonna keep playing it. Yeah, I'm just gonna game it. Yeah, yeah. it's not broke, don't fix it. And he's, Tony's got, Tony will always tell me, like the new driver comes out and he's like, it has to be better. Like if yeah. Ty, Ty goes to the gamer, which I get. Yeah. Like Ty goes to the gamer because you've hit it at Augusta on number eight three times and you hit it, you know. You, you know the shot. There's you confidence know. in that. So yeah, five clubs for Tony. Victor's much, Victor will test much more. Okay. So, different, yeah. still laid back, but Victor's very much, uh, I wouldn't say he's a tinkerer, but he works on in the numbers on his golf swing a lot. So when you're into those numbers so much, like they're gonna vary. Right. And when those vary and they're off and you feel like you're swinging good, he's gonna come to us. So we'll, we build Victor a little bit more and then some people we build a lot of clubs for and that's just yep. a part of their process. Yep. I mean, that begs the question. And if you can disclose, biggest gearhead and tinkerer that you guys have on staff. We have a few, I'm just trying to think. Taylor Moore tests a lot of stuff. Okay. Um, MJ Defoe tests a lot of stuff. One of our rookies, we learned that in Napa. We built him like 26 things. I was like, okay, you. Wow. You Five times Tony, perfect. Hello. Exactly. <laughs> now one was a reshaft, like it's line item, so it's a little unfair because it's right. a reshaft of irons. But sure. um, yeah, you have, and that's like those guys. It's just literally just to become a part of their process. Yeah. Daniel Summerhays was he was massive tester. Massive okay. tester. He's cut all of his clubs one inch. The Tuesday of the, my, I wasn't on the truck at this time, but he cut all of his clubs one inch either Monday or Tuesday of the US Open at Chambers Bay. Wow. Driver to putter, one inch cut. Everything, Everything. across the board. Yeah. Full bag, one yeah. inch cut. What do you do when a request comes in like that? They're like something ridiculous, right? Like, this doesn't make sense. I don't know where you read this. You talk it through. Are you like, let's sit down in this nice couch yeah, area? Some, yeah, sometimes you do and you have to be like. And we just need to talk through this. Yeah, you have to, you just have to like explain your side of it. And be like, yes. listen, these are the things that could happen. Check, check, yes. check, check. And now if you want to, then they're the boss. Right, like yeah, there's right. A, Summer Hayes is the one that told me this. It's a line from, I forget what movie, but he's like, hey, Ken, this, he wanted to go really upright. And I'm like, Daniel, I don't know, man. I was my rookie year on tour. Yeah. If I was now where I was, I probably would have not done it. Right. But I was like, I don't know, Daniel. And he's like, listen, KO, he's like, the boss isn't always right, but the boss is always the boss. So I always remember that. I was like, okay, <laughs> these are your clubs. Yeah, yeah you're, you're not wrong. <laughs> yeah. Man, did you, did you have him like sign a waiver? Like, I this is not my fault. I should have. Right. <laughs> yeah, you gotta protect yourself. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. You talk to them, you let them know, and they come to you. They'll come to us, but like at the end of the day, they're, they're the ones that's gotta hit the shot. So exactly. they'll, they'll do what they want to do. Yeah. Well, I know the PJ Tour guys can be a little bit more high maintenance sometimes than Thank the you, average man. player. Um, how much of it, in your experience, has been being a bit of a therapist as well? Are you sometimes? talking to them through some stuff like a little bit more intense, like you get your mind right? Big time, and I think that's the, I mean, that's my favorite part of my job is that we have a bunch of kids on staff now with Alex Smalley and Sahit Tagala, Taylor Moore, Cole Hammer who just played great. Yeah, he did. We're starting to get a lot of guys in our staff that I remember seeing on the Austin Ekro, seeing on that range at 14. Yeah. yeah. So like when you have all that built up with them, you get, you, you kind of like, I always think of like, my job is, I'm trying to just put in, I'm trying to gain like, like little moments of trust with them right. so that when the moment comes, I can be, I can sit them down and be like, listen, I've watched you do all this. I don't think, you know, that's what you're trying. You're trying to be able yes. to earn that trust so that when you have a moment where you want to say something, they're going to listen to you and not just kick you off to the side. And sometimes those wins probably come from saying, you know what, that product right there fits you better for what you're looking for than this brand new one. It does. And they're like, okay, he's not just trying to push the yeah. new stuff in my hands. He wants me to play good. Yeah, and that's, that's ultimately your goal. That's our goal. I mean, our team here, our goal is we want those guys to play their best. That's, it's, I mean, it's on the hat, it's everywhere, it's play your best, it doesn't matter. It's our job, it's our job and my team's job to make them play the 430 and the I-230s. Right. That's on us. Yeah. Your job is to go play great golf. If you play great golf, it's all going to be fine. And so, yep. yeah, that definitely helps when you do that and take it that approach. We're definitely not trying to shove this new stuff down the throat, I think. So when you see a bunch of 430 stuff in play, it's because it's simply better. It yep. works. Yeah. It works. The difference between Corn Fair and the PGA Tour, it's very much the same. There's just so much, it's just there's all the noise around a PGA Tour event is, it's amplified and you can get, you see kids every year kind of get lost in that. You know, they just get like, there's so much like, you you can get distracted very easily out there. Right. So, 
Um, we try to keep our kids, you know, try to like let them know, hey, and that's the other thing about having a bunch of kids that have been through our program. We like, hey, listen, Austin, like just go do your thing. You don't have to, you don't have to be a different guy out here. Right. You got here because you played great golf in the corn fray. You're a great golfer. You just keep doing the same thing. You'll be fine. Yep. So. Yeah.